everybody here knows I was on the chopping block. So coming off of two losses in a row, I really wasn't expecting a third opportunity. So, you know, I want to thank Sean Shelby, Joe Silva, you know, Dan and the whole the UFC and everybody for just giving me an, another opportunity to show off my skill set and the kind of fighter I am. How does that weigh on you coming into a fight? I mean, knowing that I mean, you obviously performed well, but how does it feel when you come in like that? Yeah, you know, I didn't fight the best fight against Nam Fam, but I, I, I damn sure left it all in the cage in that fight. And, um, you know, to, to come in here with this kind of uh, pressure, you know, um, it, it weighed heavy. It's, it's tough, and especially going the eight months between fights and coming off of elbow surgery. And, you know, um, when I look back and I started on the season, five, you know, the tough five finale, and here we are at tough 17, you know, I don't have 20 fights, and I should. I have 13, and I have 13 fights in six years. That's two fights a year. So I've had like four surgeries since being with the organization, and I, I go, if you go back and look at my tracker, I go six to eight to nine months constantly between fights. I think it's due to my reckless style and, and my style of training, but I mean, it, it paid off tonight. How did it feel to be one of the guys that have finished Bart uh, Palaszewski? He's only been finished, I think, five times in his career of over 50 fights. Yeah, I, I don't really want to um, toot my own horn too much, but if anyone was going to do it, it was me. And I know that he's fought guys that were better than me um, in the past, but again, with that reckless style I have and that constant attack that I have, you know, it, it, it doesn't surprise me that I did it. I'm very proud to do it against a guy like him who's a black belt in jiu-jitsu as well and um, has obviously shown how durable he is. You it, took full advantage there when you took his bag. Were you sure that you were going to sink in the submission at that moment? Yeah, um, when you don't come from a wrestling background like I do, the moment you get things to the floor or you turn it into a grappling situation, you learn to take advantage of it and attack as quickly as possible. And this is your third fight at featherweight here. Did you finally feel comfortability at this weight and being able to make the cut and to be as agile as you were in the cage? Yeah, this lot, the previous fight I felt uh, I think even better than I did physically for this fight. Um, but I just didn't use my head very well in this last fight. But today I felt a, a full balance. You know, I, I didn't feel phenomenal physically, but I didn't feel bad. But I was able to use my head a lot better and I paid attention more to what my corner men were saying. On the feet, he uh, was was pegging you a little bit with some punches. It seemed like you uh, eased into the fight and got a little more comfortable. Talk about the exchanges on the feet. Did, did you feel like what what prompted you to get the takedown and uh, you know not not exchange with him any longer? Yeah, well, my coach Master Cattell told me to sit back and be patient, and uh, I knew that he was going to be looking for the bombs. And I don't want to say that I was baiting him, but I did want to sit back and pay attention a little bit more. And even when he hit me, he actually rocked me there for a little bit. Um, I didn't want to get overzealous and duck my head and shoot for a sloppy shot, but just sit back and pay attention. My coach said there's no, pro there's nothing wrong with getting a slow start. So I wanted to sit back and really I went for the takedown because I had an angle. You know, he uh, when he rushed me like that, he was right there in range, and um, the way I was, I was more like facing the direction of his ribs. So I just went in there for the shot and I uh, didn't stop driving until I got him to the cage. He talked about the emotions and the pressure coming into the fight. Um, when, when you're a little more excited maybe than you normally are. Um, and, and being patient at the same time, sometimes those don't necessarily mesh well. Uh, what was it like in the fight actually kind of, you know, maintaining composure? Was that, was that hard or was that easy? Uh, this is something I think that I've always been able to do is control uh, my emotions in the fight. I might get aggressive sometimes, but I'm usually in full control and that was another thing that Master Cattell was trying to tell me was control the emotions, you know, just pay attention, play your game. Um, you know, all, all the standard stuff, but I just wanted to make sure, again, I wasn't overzealous, I didn't try to do anything too much, and when I go into a fight, I already accept that I'm going to lose. Now, a sports psychologist will probably tell you that's the worst thing, but when I mentally prepare for a bout, I, I envision myself getting submitted, getting knocked out, losing a decision, losing in every way possible, so that way I'm, I fully accepted my, my fate, and I'm ready to go out there and fight, you know, with, the, with a true martial art attitude. We're coming to the close of the first quarter of 2013. You mentioned your inactivity over the last five years and some change. I mean, what, what do you see 2013 being like uh, fight-wise? I mean, is this, a, is this a year you can get three fights in still? Yeah, you know, I'm, you know, with the way it is, on tra I'm on track to get a surgery every other year. So I had it in 2012, so 2013 I'm due for a clean slate. So <laughs> I'm going to make this one an active year. Who knows, man? He probably broke my leg with some of them like this. <laughs> I'm about to go to the ER. Who, who knows? But, yeah, I want to make this an active year. You know, I don't want to say, you know, I want to fight next week or anything crazy like that. I'm sore. You fight a guy like Bart and you have a training camp like I did and get for a guy like that, 
you know, it, it weighs heavy, but I would like to maintain a, you know, a, a more active, you know, uh, fighting career, especially in 2013. You mentioned your camp. Uh, r real quick, tell us about that because it doesn't sound like it was maybe the greatest camp for you. I think this is the worst, the worst camp I've had. I had like, excuse me, I had a lot of issues with my, uh, my grandpa who's um, really sick with Alzheimer's. Man, it just hurts. <laughs> Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.